What's going on, guys? It's your boy John from the Gamer Duo here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Log. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic day. We are having a fantastic day over here. I'm nervous today because we have a very, very big battle uh, with Gladion today, and Route 5, we get an encounter as well. So, uh, with an encounter on top of the simplistic fact that we have something that's undoubtedly going to be difficult. We have a fi uh, finally have a team of six, but we have a team of six in the weirdest way ever. So let me go over a team at recap. We got everybody up to level 22-ish, 22, 23. We have Pop of the Aroma Veiling, Trumpy with Dark Pulse, X Scissor, Dizzy Punch, and Play Rough. We got Green Bird with Searing Shot, Side Beam, Hex, and Sacred Fire still as your move set. We got the Machamp, Daddy the Machamp, Storm Throw, Brick Break, Snatch, and Cotton Guard. We got Jonas the Girder with Comatose's ability, Seismic Toss Protect, Magnitude Low Kick. We got Champion after the real champion with the refrigerated ability, Fionn with Ominous Wind, Aqua Jet, Brine, and Bounce. And we got Zayden with Thunder Punch, Shadow Sneak, Steamroller, and Waterfall. I'm very nervous. I don't know how I feel about this team and how this team works and what this team is trying to accomplish. Like, I wish I could be like, oh, I 100% have the most faith that I could ever have in my team. But I just, I just don't. I, I, the worst thing to be would be not honest. So, I'm scared about my team. But we do get a new encounter on Route 5. So, that hopefully will make things a tad bit better. We got a Super Potion. That's fine. But, yeah. I'm hoping we can get something nice in the fields. So, our encounter for the fields is an Archon. Okay, you know what? That's not bad. It, it hopefully won't evolve to have the defeatist ability. It's Gen 5. It's a fossil. So it's a decent bird for us at the current moment. I am, like I said, I'm not mad about that at all. That is very, very happy for me. Hopefully, I don't just... I Hopefully, I didn't just screw myself over there. Uh, acrobatics. Okay, that's going to hurt. That's actually a really good flying stab move um, that I got to watch out for. So now... Now we have the capability to go into Zayden or Greenbird or anybody, really. I'm going to go Zayden, though, because you did show that flying-type move. So I don't think you have a rock-type move. Because you would have shown it right there if you had it, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now it's all on us for catching this. If we can catch this, that'd be great. But yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm very much so hoping that we can catch this. Arjun ain't a bad Pokemon. Something I'm kind of looking forward to to have on the team at some point. There it is. And it's another, it's a good backup Gen 5 Mon. So it's like, now we're at a point where all of these Pokemon are backup Pokemon. So it's nice knowing that we are going to name you Robbie. The Archon. That sounds like a really good name. Um, so, yeah. So, Robbie. I don't know. I think Robbie's going to be a good Pokemon. I think Robbie evolves at level 40, though. So, hopefully we don't need to use Robbie until kind of late game. Um, that would be the best. And let's see Robbie's summary. Let's see what you have. You have... Bulletproof, and you just casually are holding a Normalium Z. Interesting. And you had a rock type move. So that's that's pretty cool. Um I do have to take on the double battle. That is a force double battle. To my knowledge. So let's take it on right now. Oh boy. Okay, so I don't know. How's everybody's day been? Uh mine's been well. Uh we have a I have a totem battle in the midst, so I am very, very nervous. I feel like um, not this episode, but the next episode. Things are going to be bad. Things are going to fall apart. Um, so, yeah. It is very nerve-wracking to me when you have a set team and it's like, oh, boy. Restram and Politoed. That is um, that is quite the combination. Um, kind of a combination I really can't do much to because, of course, it's the one dragon type that also coincides with being a fire type. Um... But I guess we kind of have to double team the Restram and try. 
Um, I think that Psybeam is going to do a decent chunk. Oh my gosh, that did nothing. Uh-oh. Ember. Really? So you're telling me that the... Uh, you're telling me that this Politoed is going to be more of a threat. You're kidding. Is that really what's happening right now? This Politoed is going to be technically considered more of a threat than the Reshram. Okay. Whatever, I guess. Um, so knowing I killed the Reshram with a Dizzy Punch, um, that was the best decision. Get the Reshram out of the way. Make it a 2v1. What could this Politoed actually have to destroy us if it used X Electric Terrain first? Air Cutter. Nothing. That does nothing. We'll take it. And we're faster, so we should be able to just knock this out just smooth as a whistle. Or smooth as a... I don't know the saying. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> smooth as a something. Um, but we got this. Yeah. Okay. Politoed's out of the way. Again, I didn't really freak out over, over the uh, whatever Reshiram very much, and understandably so. Like, Reshiram's not really that big of a deal if you look at it. So, I'm going to go back and heal considering I know what's happening and I don't get healed beforehand because of this specific thing right here. So, I'm going to get my healing on. <sighs> Gladian, please don't have, don't be crazy. It, one thing I will say is it is really weird only having one death in this entire playthrough so far. So, I'm definitely... It definitely, I think, nerves rack. It makes me more nervous than I should be because I have higher expectations, higher feeling for what I should be accomplishing. So, let's not be bad. That's all I ask. Let's not, let's not have the worst team for me to fight against in existence, which would be... Pure, lots of electric types. Because electric types kind of do me in. Uh, grass types are pretty bad to... Like, I don't know. I have a lot of weird, random, like, things that need to be fixed about the team. But hopefully we make Gladion mad and anguish and anger. Panseer is going to be your first one. That's fine. That is something I can handle. That is uh, not the fully evolved. So we are good. The only way that this wouldn't be good is if you had, like, Wonder Guard, which I highly doubt that you would have Wonder Guard. And you are level 19, so I did the right thing in training up to level 22. Um, that makes me happy, because the, uh, the totem is going to be level 24, and next episode we're going to do that, so... Yeah, so I'm happy I did what I did when it comes to that. Hop it. That I'm going to switch into Green Bird for. Green Bird tanks that handily. Searing Shot is going to just one-shot the thing. Um, Hop Up is pointless. It shouldn't even be on this team. Um, so I'm very happy to see that Mon for sure. It makes it makes your day when you can see like some easiness and just positive vibes, you know? Like, we may have fought against a Rush Ram, but that might that hopefully is going to be the worst of our issues today. I keep hitting the C button. I, I, that's something I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop doing. Is hitting the C button after coding and doing a lot of stuff today. In that regard, <laughs> oh, good luck, everybody. We just got calm mind. I know I'm making a controversial call, but I'm getting rid of sacred fire. It's our only non-special move. Bye, sacred fire. Have a great day. I know Sacred Fire can come in handy, but with a Calm Minding Green Bird, we got it. Oh, Mega Blaziken? Sucks for you. I don't know if it's Mega, but it sucks for you because I literally have the number one counter to Mega Blaziken. So, bye-bye. Have a great day. Um, if it is Mega, if it's not, then it's even more goodbye. Okay, no, it is a regular Blaziken. But, again, I still have, like, the hard counter for it. So, unfortunately for him... He has to say Sayonara, so. 744. That thing is going. And Turtonator is next. That's another one that's kind of annoying. But Turtonator we can kill um, very, very effectively. It is his ace. That's an interesting ace, not going to lie. But Waterfall is going to do neutral damage. It should do about 38 to 40%. Yep. What did you just use? <laughs> That's kind of ironic. 
he sent out a Blaziken, and Blaziken normally has speed boost, but his <laughs> Turtonator has it. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, do we? Oh, we didn't get a crit. So, that oh, Tackle is what he's... That was one of the things he was using. Okay. Whatever, his Turtonator was no problem at all. Um, Kind of as expected. Oh, I should have Shadow Sneaked. I mean, it doesn't matter. He has no good moves, but, like, that was a better play than what I accidentally did, so... But I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Like, if, if his best Mon to handle Swap Perk is Turtonator, we're good. Um, what else do we got here? Zayden's going to go on par with the um, Totem, which is fantastic. A Fennekin. Another Fire-type. Wow. This man had three Fire-types on his team. Kind of sad, unfortunately. Unfortunately, he had three Fire-types because we had a, the probably one of the best Water-types in the game in Mega Swampert. So, that is unfortunate for him. But... We handle that because it really well as the final mon that he's going to have is a Duskull. And uh, Duskull gets wrecked by Waterfall as well. I know it's a thick boy. Duskull is not a, not a good uh, or not a bad mon in terms of like thickness. But it unfortunately still gets O-Code. So how thick is it really? Dang, we're only 10 minutes into this episode. And we might actually, we might actually take on the totem today. Like... That is actually a potential. I thought that that was going to be next episode. That might be now. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. It's not like of me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents. It looks like I'm still not ready. Strong opponents? You just got walloped by me. I think I'm a strong opponent. Excuse you. Uh, he was just using an excuse uh, because he can't beat the Kahuna because he can't beat Hollow. Yeah, I'm sorry that uh, Howe can't beat Hollow, that Howe is terrible. Um, because Howe has always been terrible and won't ever not be terrible. Uh, rivals have, honestly, here's my opinion. Rivals have gotten worse over time. Um, like, if I look at the rivals and how rivals have been evolved between... Uh, I shouldn't even see Shay evolved in the set, in the sense. But they have devolved over time. Like, Gary perfect or gary gary slash blue perfect rival right he is somebody that i would say encapsulates what a rival is supposed to feel like somebody who's gonna beat you to places someone who's gonna make you work harder make you feel like you're on the ropes when you look at that game it's like perfect and then you go to the gen 2 rival and the Gen 2 rival is like, well, stop, how? Don't give me refives. I hate them. You know that already. You're going to give me like 100, which is going to be so freaking annoying. But, oh, that's another double bottle. Woo. Okay. But yeah, you look at the Gen 2 rival. I hate the Gen 2 rival. He basically is like, let me push you, shove you to the ground, and I'm better than you because I can physically do some, st like, beat you physically. It's like, that's not right either. That's not how uh, I like. That does not how it's supposed to work. May, on the other hand, I think the Gen Three rivals is a good rival. Like May helps you out like a friend would, but also gives you the challenge that you need. A lot of people bring up, and it's a, there's a, maybe I'm going to bring up a specific fight, but a lot of people bring up said specific fight, and it's the one off of a root. Uh, 10, I believe. The one off of Ma Bill. That, to me, encapsulate how a rival is supposed to feel. The feeling of something bad could happen right now. Like, you never know. And so, and May does a great job um, of that. And I'm very happy that they did make a rival do that. They made a rival feel good. Like, they're ready to help. Oh, okay. They make you feel like good and you're ready to help. See, Aaron, it's a guaranteed crit. Anyway, um, they make you feel like you are their friend, but then they also give you like a friendly challenge, make you get better. Um, see, watch, Aaron, this is going to crit. Did you know that? I'm giving you a whole bunch of flack right now, but that's because I love you. Um, love you as a brother. Um... See? Another crit. How did that happen? Okay. Oh, look. Another crit. <laughs> I'm being a butt. Okay. Whatever. Um, But then Gen 4, you got Blue. 
And blue is, or not blue, you have Gary. That, or that's, that's where Gary is. Who wants to learn focus energy? No, sorry. Um, He likes to rush the crap out of you. And he wants to go, 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 go. And that's his personality. But he doesn't really encapsulate a rival to me. He's not somebody who's going to, like, wreck you and sit you down and show you how to, like, play games. He's not that. He's not that rival. And I, like, that. that's what puts him a little lower on the spectrum for me. Um, I like Sharon as a rival. Sharon, to me, is a pretty good rival. Um, but Bianca is not. Bianca, to me, is just shouldn't even have been a rival in the first place. But I like Sharon's personality and the way that Sharon's like... He, he, you can tell that he wants to beat you. He has the drive. He has the motivation. Which is something that Bianca is missing. Or so she thinks she's missing. But in all reality, it's that she doesn't... She wants to be a professor, which is completely different occupationally. And then Gen 6 rivals are all trash. Um, none of them are good. And then, like, I literally, I can't even, like, none of them. They, I hate all of them. All of Gen 6's rivals. Um, Gen 7 rivals, How is just a butt munch. He's annoying. He's like, let me help you out because I'm going to be the best trainer ever. And it's like, How can you just be quiet for, like, two seconds of your life? Um, and then, then you got Hop, and he's a whole nother story. Oh, my God. I just wanted to, I literally, I am not an aggressive person. Like, I don't like, like, I'm not going to get angry very fast. Hop wanted me, Hop made me want to slit his throat. Like, honestly, I was like, can you just shut up now, Hop? Like, you could see the visual anguish that was on my face while I was playing Sword and Shield. And it's just like, it's like, can we go any faster? And it's like, no, 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 you can't. Um, so, this episode is getting close to the ending point, I think. Um, I feel like I can get an encounter here before ending today's episode. Um, and if I can, great. If not, that sucks. But um, So we'll see if I can get the encounter. If not, this will just be... Uh, ugh, I need to get the encounter. Um... If I don't get the encounter, the episode's going to be 17 minutes or, like, 40. So, it's going to be it's, it's literally one of these one or the other ones. It's like, all right, I make it 17 or make it 40 and record one episode tonight. And I'm like, I'm, I want to be in the middle. I want to be, like, 22 to 23 and have another episode tonight. Like, that would be best case scenario. So, can I... I probably can't. Wow. Yep, nope. So. I'm thinking. That. Crap. I don't think we can. I'm going to try one more time. But I think I have to come back and get it after the tile or the totem. Yup. Okay. Well, with that being the case, today is going to be a very short episode. Thank you guys so very much for watching uh, on this lovely Saturday. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And episode 11, I believe, is going to be going out. Yeah. Episode 11, tomorrow, totem, be there.